Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're just going to cut out these two blackbirds out of this bit of fencing wood I've had left over from a previous project. You can see it's been drawn on and stuff that didn't quite work out as planned. Nice and easy one today. Literally going to put those on there, cut round them with the scroll saw, and then we'll route out the little eyepiece and a bit of sanding around the beak and around the feet. I've modified these feet slightly because we want a nice straight line there because eventually we're going to screw them down onto a fence or onto the top of the shed. So where the feet would be curved, we're just going to cut them straight across at the straight line so it'll sit better on our fence. And then when it's done, we'll turn it round so one be facing that way. If you know what I mean, notice one's going downwards and the other one's actually looking up one's looking down so when we do it if it makes sense we'll turn it around so this one is I and that one and put them together like that but before we start cutting them out normally I would carbon round all this with carbon paper because we are using scroll saw I'm literally going to cover the wood with painters tape a quick spray on glue and then we'll stick them straight down and we're ready to cut. We'll do that first and then we'll go into the scroll saw next. Right, we've got them two stuck down nicely. They're not going to go too far. Now the blade I'm going to use on my scry uh, scroll saw is what they call a spiral blade. A very thin blade like that, but it will cut from all directions. Unfortunately, I have to use these adapter clamps. Now, it won't matter on this occasion because it's outset cut. You also get blades with a teeth just at the front. Now you will have to push into those blades turn your wood, push into the blade, and so on. Whereas with your spirals, you can cut it up, down, left, right, no problem whatsoever. So I'm gonna go with the spirals. This certainly would be the better blade, but I'm practicing with the spirals, so for my benefit, I'll stick with that one for now. Right, we'll cut these out first. Right, we've gone around our two birds. Quite thick wood is this one, and that's ideal for what we want. We're going to round these edges off and basically make that side exactly the same as that side. So they will stand up, and like I said previously, this one will be going that way. And if you notice, he's actually eyeing that one. A bit drunk, this one. They just stand up. Right, there you go. So you get the general idea. What we're going to do next is just literally put a CNC bit on just to go around the eyes and I'm actually going to route over the paper this time just to see if I can get away with it because it is a small CNC bit you require a collet and you literally just throw that in there like so slide it in and that's now a quarter of an inch and that will fit your router as long as it's quarter inch router no problem whatsoever so I literally just go around the eyes now on both of them and then we'll do exactly the same on the other side 
and then we'll start sanding with we'll a dremel and a couple of sanding birds and we'll start shaping this down a little bit Right, we managed to get around those eyes. I know there's a reason why I don't route over paper. Some people can, it's just not for me. But for that small area, we've got to wave it. Now what I've managed to do is pull that section off. In fact, we can take it all off now for you. And we've managed to save that piece of it. So that's just a simple case of removing that down there. We actually only want the edge section. Now we can turn that, place that on there like so. Obviously it's gonna fit spot on, it's the same size. And we can draw that other eye in there like that. So these are now, when I come to route over that one again, it's gonna more or less be in the same place as that one. And same for the beak. We can put that on there, mark it off. I can see where that is, bit of carbon paper underneath there. In fact, if you give me two seconds, we'll find a piece for you. Bit of carbon paper like so. So get that set up. A bit of a rush video this one today, guys. I do apologize. Put your bit of carbon paper underneath. I can see that, you might not get it from that angle, but we can see that the beak draw around it. And now we've got our, our beak section and the eye. We know roughly where we're going. Right, I'll do that on the other one. Route out the eyes, just the same. You can more or less see that one in there. And we'll have a little bit of yellow paint in there when we come towards the end. And the same with the beak, but it's taking shape. Right, we've gone round, I've sanded up, we've done our bit of Dremel, we've got some kind of little beak effect going there. We've done these eyes on both sides. Now these aren't going to win any Master Carving Awards. I'm not too interested in that. These are just fun little projects, anything that the beginner to woodworking can achieve. No special skills required in making these, apart from being able to use a scroll saw maybe, and a bit of Dremel work. But it's near enough for me. I'm happy with those two. They're only going to go on my shed at the end of the day. Now, painting-wise, painters touch paints for me. These are ideal for outside. And we're literally going to put some yellow into the eyes. Yellow beak. Could even be an orange beak. I don't know. We'll see how we go on. So I'll paint these up. And then we'll come back when we're ready to pop them on the fence. Right, we've got all our black on, that's all nicely dried. They're not going to win any awards, but we're just using up some scrap wood. I'm not even going to bother spraying any varnish or anything on these. 
what I'm going to do is put a little screw hole underneath and I'm going to sit this on the shed roof and screw from underneath. You could put pin nails in there to hold it in place. But there we have them, just little fun projects. 9 inch by 5 inch, two little blackbirds sitting on a shed roof. Thank you very much for watching.